Hello and welcome back to another episode of Guides for War Tales. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Guides for the Class of War Tales. Today it is time to look at the Spearman, um, a support class in War Tales. I'm going to give you a 10 minute rundown uh, with no BS, no reputation, information packed for everything that you need to know in order to make your Spearman work as it should be. The Spearman across all of the classes is potentially the class that is the closest to a true support class and they excel in working together with others. Uh, if I had to put uh, the competitive builds uh, down, I would say the Harponier, the Pikeman and the Hellebardier are all competitive builds that actually work uh, very well in different combinations. As always, I will focus on two instead of more builds to give you a very competitive two build section that you can work against today we're going to focus on the harponier or the halibadier either of uh, them are going to work very well the spearman's role as a support is to do a couple of things number one generate a veiler so it's a veiler generating class just like the tanks in uh, this game meaning it should be net positive when it comes to Valor. Number two, should either improve your positioning um, or defend uh, the other members of your team. Number three, if possible, uh, apply status effects that others can work off of. And number four, as a bonus to all of that, uh, deal some decent damage. And you will see that the Halibadier, the unlockable class, is actually very much excelling at that part. So, with that being said, what do we need to know? Let's start with the Harpenier, which is the basic build that is available from the beginning of the game. Uh, the uh, Spearman itself uh, can choose at level 2 a passive ability, and I would always go with Valorous Support every time it's not engaged in combat, which it seldomly is if you're playing it right at the end of its turn. Uh, you uh, end your adjacent to uh, one of your allies, you get a Valor Point. Fantastic ability. Um, into Harpenier, which is a medium um, armor uh, build. As such, it's a bruiser. It can take a couple of hits, but it won't be a full tank. Keep that in mind. It's typically a second line uh, type of character. This gains, uh, gets you Piercing Throw. Piercing Throw is a ranged attack, 8 meters, which is uh, a little bit less than a normal bow shot. Deals damage and applies bleeding to the first target. The upgraded version uh, deals a bit more damage and applies bleeding to all of the targets, which is great because we can trigger off a lot of builds that rely on bleeding or other status effects. Fantastic build in order to do that. Um, on top of it, I should say that bleeding, uh, that um, uh, piercing throw works with aim. So if you upgrade and get aim for the character, they can actually throw quite far. So. Perfect character in combat, and we will see that in a bit, um, to wait until the enemies are coming in. Once you see a line, you can throw uh, through them uh, with ease. Then, as for the level 5 talents, I'm personally a big fan of Team Spirit. Once you're next to an ally, you and them on the upgraded version get Brutality. That's a free 30% buff. You just need to stand next to an ally. And oftentimes, the Spearman will support the front line. The other alternative here is Sweet Spot in order to deal with heavily guarded um, enemies. So range attacks like the throw that I have just mentioned will also apply destabilization. That is good to just get all of uh, the um, guard out of uh, the way. So. Further down uh, the line, there are a couple of options that you could pick. Uh, I personally, for one, like uh, preparedness because it gives fury and the upgraded version repost on top of it. Um, if uh, you end your um, your turn while it's not engaged in combat and next to an uh, to an ally, uh, so that is fantastic. The repost allows uh, you to immediately retaliate if you will draw aggro. Um, and it is overall just good. The other option is change of pace. When you kill an enemy, um, uh, you and the ally that uh, the enemy was engaged with both gain dodge, which is a full negation of one attack. So if you find yourself your, your main tank or your front line to die quite often and your spearman deals a lot of damage, then that's the way uh, to go. As for the um, other talents in level 10, um, I personally go for Unstoppable because I like to position also sometimes behind the enemies to uh, ankle that first throw. Uh, Unstoppable is a fantastic ability. And then for the level 12 um, area, 
uh, you uh, for the level 12 skills you might want to consider condemn i've worked with it and it's not too bad if you find yourself having continuous problems with valor that's actually a decent skill you can um uh, tr uh, target an enemy and once that is killed later in the turn uh, you will gain five valor points um, works wonderfully well with a couple of unique weapons as well so it kind of for longer uh, situations gives you another uh, boost of valor I personally didn't need it so I specced out of it and went into class specialization and took sweet spot on top of the team spirit just to deal with the destabilization in terms of uh, attributes what we want to do is 15 willpower is always movement you want to be around 16 to 18 that is my personal uh, favorite sweet spot and then the rest goes into a critical hit um, you could also improve a little bit on the strength side so maybe do 50 50 between critical hit and strength the strengths will scale off of uh, the damage for uh, the spearman moving on to the second build which would be the halberdier and we're going to see that in action as well uh, the halberdier is a bit counterintuitive because it is not a pure support build but can actually deal quite a bit of damage works very well with overwatch builds or any form of builds that uh, will trigger when enemies are moving can be used also to push enemies away uh, sometimes into traps sometimes just into difficult terrain like mud and so on and is actually a quite damaging build so in that case i would still go valorous support it's too good to not take it into halibadir deals damage and deals an increased amount of damage uh, for every enemy that you're hitting my um, guidance for halibadir is you want to hit at least two enemies to make it worthwhile elsewise the valor ratio doesn't really make a lot of sense as soon as you hit three or more enemies it is a fantastic damage ratio in the end game i've had crits of almost a thousand when hitting four or more enemies because this is just it the damage becomes crazy if you hit more than three or four enemies great to set up um, enemies maybe with push shots or um, other options to pull them uh, together uh, push them essentially back and then put the halibadir in uh, just moving maybe behind the enemy uh, lines and hitting three or four enemies however the halibadir um, suffers a bit because they do not have challenging raw like the executioner can't pull the enemies together so that makes it a bit more difficult the build is really similar in that regard team spirit for brutality is too good to not uh, to not use simply because you can also be a beacon where other characters are going to move to and then they get the 30 percent damage buff so i would always go uh, for that um, i would yet again take uh, preparedness uh, because that will allow uh, you at the end of the turn to get fury for the next round easy peasy you also um, give that to adjacent units so that is great unstoppable um, is uh, really the same and we're looking at uh, the same class specialization into sweet spot you can make a case for dodge in that build but i would potentially not um, not uh, see it as valuable as preparedness same ordeal with attributes so relatively straightforward a good uh, support class and we're going to see them in combat in a second and we're moving to the gameplay footage of the spearman uh, this time we're engaged as a level 11 spearman against level 14 soldiers hardest soldier in in the game uh, i've not uh, used anything particular these here are arcadian crafted items just basic oils basic uh, runes we're using a lead uh, belt in order to not be moved ourselves because we are standing in the second row and we don't want uh, the enemy to uh, push our tank and us away uh, or us away from the tank we want to stay right next to them and we're now going to see how this works whenever you are finding yourself in a situation where you have a line just like that uh, you want to be that support class that moves in as the harpenier we're uh, getting deftness and you can see i could hit even more there we go triple hit bleeding 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 and that was already um, a solid 200 uh, points of damage uh, just like that 
we do have a spear that would um, impale as in um, remove enemies that are in melee combat and move them further back we're doing that uh, this guy is almost down uh, we would even have wrath in terms of follow-up but no one is low enough in order to do that we're uh, standing right next to our tank here we're going to get repost and uh, even if that soldier with his one hand uh, weapon would engage we're uh, then even going to deal some extra damage since we are close to our uh, body here we're going to get a brutality um, as we are right next to them plus valor generation in order to be valor positive Good, time to look at the other Spearman build. This time we have skilled the Halibird Year. Uh, we're uh, still using the same equipment. A similar setup, different fight though. And we can see that our front line here is slowly but surely being collapsed on. Um, our movement is just barely not enough to get there. So what I will do is we're sprinting up to get a bit closer. Uh, and we're going to do a few tricks. Number one, we're going to move up to right here. Going to use our spear to push uh, that gentleman uh, in a little bit closer. And we could hit a four way, but that would uh, damage our brute substantially. So I think we're not going to do, uh, do that. If I was reckless, I would uh, potentially simply move in and go for it. The truth of the matter is that would in a long term uh, destabilize the relationship. So instead, we're just uh, finishing, gaining fury for us and our comrade. And we could go in and uh, even uh, do a little bit more damage, but we would uh, push uh, these guys in. It's not an optimal position for a halibut here and it uh, nicely showcases the limitations also of it. If we're moving in and hitting both, that would be a substantial amount of damage, but the enemies, specifically both of the technicians, would come in. So instead what I'm going to do is sometimes you just need to know when to just stand back and uh, support the second line. We're going to get some more damage next round though. Good, it took a couple of rounds and you can see reinforcements have arrived. We need to shift our attention more to the other flank, which doesn't look great either. But I wanted to show you how strong controlled whirlwind can be or uh, the halibut year um, if you have enough targets. So in this case, we would hit four targets. There is another potential hit of four targets up here. But let's start with those because uh, these uh, four targets allow us to get out afterwards. So we're doing a controlled whirlwind. And you can already see 510. This is unoptimized. I told you it can be much higher than that. And there you go. That's straight up a brutal kill uh, for them. Um, as we're continuing to move a little bit closer. Oh, that was unnecessary. I could have saved that. Um, I wanted to actually get him closer to uh, to death. We're moving back. Uh, little play mistake right there. Unfortunately, no other companion of us was uh, next to us. Uh, that meant we couldn't get brutality. With brutality, the damage uh, is even higher. Typically, you can't get uh, uh, whirlwind plus brutality. That's just not going to work out, but you can at least get the normal spear attack, and that very much um, would work. So, Halibut here uh, is, uh, or whirlwind, is definitely a great build that I can recommend. If you like spearmen in general, and if you like how they are working, please let me know in the comments uh, down below how you build your spearmen. And try poking at that like button. A triple hit might pierce it and get it down. Thanks for watching and have a good one. Bye bye.